similar to what we did the last time, we're going to do this one. What I want to do the first one is I'm not going to spend time step here. Boom. Okay, you're going to walk. I'm going to throw this leg. This, uh, this position is good in the butterfly. If it, if it does sitting guard, stay on your side, one side like this. No, yes, it, it's, it's going to be tough. He's going to shut it down. He's already know which side you want to take. If he goes like this, you want to hold with this leg, bam, right? Oh. Uh, even if I go like this, going to chase this leg. Yeah, boom. The switch is, switch is stands on uh, the butterfly, on the, the city guard. You guys understand the difference between butterfly and city guard? Yeah, yeah butterfly, 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 city guard, boom. City guard, butterfly, city guard, yes. Boom. Just a little turn. <laughs> now, now we yeah. yeah. Okay. Is this here. You're going to push the shoulder ju just a little bit because I want to enter my leg over here. If he's like this again, if I if you walk nearby his uh, his legs, his arms, he should get a hold of you. If he's like this, he's not being lazy. If this doesn't mean that like it's, it's necessary just gonna do butterfly guard or city guard. This is a good position to get a hold of the grips, put your back on the ground too. You understand? It's not being passive, it's not being lazy. It's a good setup. I would say sometimes guys they start with the back on the ground, with the feet in the air, or they have a really good uh, guard rotation, you know. Keep the they move the leg well. It's hard to pass right, right away. If it's not, if you have hard time, it's better to sit. If you don't have grip, sit means take a stand up. If you create space, means of course if it's, if it's a fight situation, you're gonna put his back on, on a mat to protect with his feet, but also to engage grips. Even if again, even if you wanna put his back on the ground, okay. But we're gonna do this. We're gonna push a little bit just to catch him on his position. Moderate stay like this. Less attacks, uh, harder is going to be for him to control me. Got it? You don't need to grab, grab just push the shoulder. You're going to step this leg here. Once I step this leg here, I want to, I want to take this leg out. If I'm going to, going to lift my, my whole weight on top of him. Not, I use this in the beginning, but what is going to put him on his back is just drop my weight. You have to commit the stuff. It's a, it's a different position because you, you don't feel like you're not holding him. Right? You just. Trust in your balance, in your base, to catch him. We push the shoulder, step the leg here. My weight's already dropping. What is going to put him on his back is going to be me sitting on top of his chest. Make sure it's tough and to keep his <coughs> single position, right? But again, I, I'm going to do this if I can create some space. If you shut it down, hit, Put it active with his hands, grip, it's not gonna happen. Okay, let, let's put it this way. Any questions? Step in with your leg. Uh, we're gonna do this one. It's similar to, right? Oh, you're gonna put, now, I like that, that push. Every time that you push, it, it's a little tough for him to get a hold of what he wants. You understand again? If I step like this, if I'm not going to counter him in the guillotine, even there, if you, if you hold tight here, forget it. You don't have guillotine, kimuras, loop choke. But if he does that the way he did, head inside control like this, it's, it's really hard. We're going to be shape. We're going to come here, we're going to push, we're going to bring my knee straight to his chest to avoid this. Okay? I want to bend my knee. Once I bend my knee a little bit, I'm going to swing his leg like this here. I'm gonna hook right side his his, uh, his thigh, the same side that uh, I'm gonna do the back step. Exactly like you guys did, right? So sure. get this push a little bit, turn and go. Look that I, I'm not holding that grip there. I want I want this. Don't don't go like this. Stay on him. Sure. Smother him off. Put more pressure. You're gonna need it. Arm trap here, it's beautiful, right? That's good if you can maintain this arm here as you're sitting. Yeah, we still can have a lot of different options for Omoplata. Go. Cool. And again. Sit here. Go. Go come lazy. Don't extend his leg. He's going to have to extend his knee. He's going to come up strong. We oh, are. Yeah. yeah, see, turn the corner. If you turn the corner where you do, wrap your foot. Around you like this, not your foot stuck there. You want to pull your leg out. You're going to look for something else. If I step in, get a little bit of space, 
start the bowl. The bowl. After that, the arm, the arm's too trapped here. Right? You cannot, don't know how it's going to react. You maintain this, no. If you want to do the same one that I just did, as soon as you roll, you're going to start fishing for the, this arm here. It, it, it takes it back out of the ground, you already slide underneath to get the forearm. I don't want to create a roll that it goes to his knees. I want to get this, I'm already going like this here, water away. Close your foot on the ground, stop. Super here. Oh, let's go. Step in, leg get caught tight, right? No space. You feel. Once you land that foot there, hold the leg tight, know that you cannot swing the leg out. He's not gonna let you. You understand? You have to anticipate. In the chest, poof, leg come out. In the chest, hold tight, forget it. Not, yeah, pull, especially like this. So it's not, a, it's not a place. What I want to do here, first, get this grip here. Get, get this grip here is gonna avoid him to sit up. Uh, if he's got his hand to come up, it looks hard to sit up, right? But he's still going to do the back step. And grab this leg here, but I'm going to walk back step. I cannot fall. If I, if I lean my way on top, he's going to attack me this way. He feels I cannot move at this point. You understand? Sure. If I can still drive my knee in the chest, I'm going to do the same thing that we just did, even if I cannot uh, swing my leg over the side here. You understand? If I go like this, I push, I push the knee, right? Push, I push my knee in his chest. My foot's not gonna out, I still can do the same thing here. But look what I say, what I get here, I'm pinning his leg towards your knee because I want to take pressure, pressure out of my knee. If you start swinging his leg back that way, yeah, so we're gonna be like this. And one of the reasons I don't like to sit like this because if you gotta hold it with my back, I'm not gonna play a game for him. Yes, yeah, like this. Now, yes. The side of it is it's harder. Bob. If you play to count him like this here, that's a good setup for him. If you, if you take this out of him, I'm not going to drop my weight. You don't need to be that tight, huh? <laughs> yeah. Look, even if my knees don't go to his, straight to his chest, if I, if, I, if I turn my knee to the side, I'm going to move this way here. Just to take him out of his position. Take him out of his direction. Again, I'm pinning the leg down to don't let him swing his leg this way. And I have my hand on the mat. If I hug him tight, I'm gonna fall to my butt. If I goes like this, I'm gonna fall to my butt here. Don't stand, don't fall. Stay, you're gonna have to use a good flexibility on this leg here. You want to stay like this. Now, once I have this, I'm finding space for my, for, for my knee. Now good. Now I'm gonna start using, you can, if you can find space, you can cross face here too. That's okay, but don't have, don't drop the weight. If I have this, if you get his head tied to my, my tie, like this, I'm, I'm not gonna control, I'm not gonna look for his head. No cross face on me. Got it? Yes, now, so I use my knee. This here, this knee gonna help to pull this foot out. Nice and patient. When the foot come out, time to drive his weight. Go here. If you start tackling me here, let's say, say yeah, that's what being over with forward. Ah. Boom, get in the hook. Cool. The two scenarios, if you don't get if you don't get them in the chest, if you get in the chest, I can go like this. Boom and bring. If you turn my knee, see my head, I, I need to do more more steps because he's doing like this. To catch this leg to bring over this side. Pull, pull, pull. Hands on the ground. Turn. A little bit my my body a little more. See if my, my kneecap can point to the ground. The one strap can trap my leg. Right, my, my right leg. It's not working here. This way. And again. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 